Welcome back, Quantum Travelers. This is Ronan. Hope you're doing well in whatever reality you find yourself in today. Uh, the Schumann has been way off the charts and really steady. And uh, so there's a lot of things going on. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's changes all the time. But I believe that is one sign of the changes. And yes, the ear ringing and all that stuff is still consistent. <clears throat> now, I did see that uh, Moneybag posted something about Brian Stavely's show and whoever else to go watch. <clears throat> now, I'm going to tell you, don't forget that when Tony was on here, he exposed Brian Stavely and all those people. They're just out to get your money. Half of them are just leading you down. I would advise you to stay away from Brian Stavely and all those people. You know how there's organizations and groups on there that all band together and they weed out other people and make sure they're on top and they get the money and they always ra raise the money for something but it never actually gets done that's the type of group he runs with and if if money bags wants to hang with him more power to you brother but for regular people like me i suggest you stay away from him it's not worth it like i said i used to be a mod over there and uh once i found out and saw the lies of this guy I just, I stopped hanging around. He booted me off because I called him out. He booted me off. I don't, I'm not bitter about it. I care less about it. But I'm advising you, don't fall for that stuff. I wouldn't go over there and be a, a regular person watching that show. I just, if I know that there's there's fakeness and people, nasty people running around, I don't hang with them. That's what I do. I do not hang with them. I'll hang with myself. I'm good. You want to watch it? Fine. But I warned you. And I'm sorry, I don't care if any of these these creators, if at no point in time they ever mention Jesus Christ, if they don't mention him as uh, their Lord and Savior, get away from them. Because they're, if they're not worshiping Christ or, or, or having Christ on their mind, or at least a mind or heart of Christ, then what is in their mind or in their heart? Run the other way, please. Run the other way. All right, so I get past that statement. Uh... What's the other one? I am seeing. Let's we'll stay on that that topic a bit. I am seeing so many people sit here and talk about Jesus Christ, and then in the same breath turn around and talk about space and talk about the universe and all this stuff. And I'm sorry, I I like you guys. I mean, even Dabu Seven, he's like talking about outer space crap. And then talking about God and opening up his third eye and all this other stuff. Half of it, half of what he does, I believe in, or I believe that he's he's onto something. The rest of it, I don't know. But I like Dabu7. I like his updates. I suggest you watch him every Monday and Friday. His shows are really good, but he kind of has his own way about things. You are on a plane. It's not some square object floating through space that's not what we got going on here all right you people have never been up high enough to see what we are on or where we are can't do it won't let you this is a plane of existence this it's like these people talk about these ufos well these ufos from other there's other life from other planets and then they turn around and go these things are from another dimension yeah, it's from other dimensional stuff, sure. Uh, half of it is stuff we already have because of the fallen angels. It's fallen angel technology, so they can jump dimensions. I totally believe that because look at the Mandela effect. We're totally jumping dimensions. But there's no going up and getting out of here. There are no other life forms. There is only what God created. There's a firmament up there. Sky's blue for a reason. All right? The vacuum of space would suck any atmosphere right off the planet. If there was a planet, it would suck the mosquitoes off. It would suck everything off. There would be no atmosphere. Gravity is is, is not what you think it is. If gravity can hold all the water in the ocean down, how does a feather float through the air? It's density, buoyancy. It's not gravity. You are not on a, a piece of a square plate chessboard floating through space, and you are not on a ball flinging through space. You're not. You're not. This is a plane of existence. God said multiply and fill the earth. You know what that means? Keep filling it up, fill it up. That means it could be go on astronomically forever. Who knows? 
Who knows? We don't know where we are. We don't. We can't go outside and see it and, and, and see past the, the arctics and the walls and stuff. We can't go there. We can't go. So we have no idea. There could be other lands out there. It could stretch on infinitely. Because what God makes is perfect. And at no point in time did God say it was a ball flying through space. If he said he made the Big Bang, he would have told you he made the Big Bang. He didn't say that. Do not tell me you love Jesus Christ with all your heart and that you're on a ball flying through space. Don't tell me that. Because you're lying to me and you're lying to yourself. We are under the firmament. There's nowhere to go. Van Allen belts. Call it whatever you want to. But there's nowhere to go. There are no sister planets. God said he made that stuff up there for dates and times and seasons. Not for us to live on. Well, it's round up there. should be round here, too. What's up there and what is here is two different things. God didn't make that for you to live on. He made it as something for you to tell the seasons and the dates by. That's why. That's why it's like that up there. It's not like that here. God made this plane for us. Multiply and fill the earth. He didn't say, fill the planet as you're flying through the space. No. There's not one person on here who has gone anywhere on a boat or on a plane to ever see anything. I've been on planes most of my life. I've never seen any curvature up there at all. It's always been flat. Always. So I know what I know. I know Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I know that God created this place for us to exist. And he created that stuff up there for times, dates, and seasons. I believe a lot of that stuff up there, those bright, shiny objects, if you look at through the telescope, it looks like it's underwater. You keep seeing things go by it. Those are the angels that got kicked out and stuff. Those are angels or fallen angels up there, I'm sure. Or maybe they're other kind of angels. I don't know. But what I do know is that there's a third and then the fourth heavens and things like that. That those stuff does exist up, up somewhere, but not up there where there's vacuum. That, that ain't real. That ain't real, bro. But do you know that deep in the earth, deep in the earth, there is a hell? If you don't believe me, I don't know what to tell you. But you can go to the low down section on my videos and find uh, the testimony of people who have been to hell. And can back up an inscription that is in Shoal, Hades, whatever you want to call it. But it's down there. You go deep enough, you will find it. And there's stuff down there. There could be an inner earth. There is a place. I can't remember where it was. Was it in Australia, Zealand? can't remember, but there's a place where there's a cave that goes into the earth, and it's got its own clouds in there. It's got its own uh, water, animals, and stri it's got a whole ecosystem down there. We got to know by now, there's definitely, there could be a hole somewhere. doesn't mean it's a pole. doesn't mean it's the, on the pole, there's a hole. On the pole, there's a hole. To, to, no. As far as... It, people, well, what, how is there, how is there port, poles and stuff? That's, you're just talking about a mic... Uh, what do you call it? a magnetic pole? Magnetic pole could be anything. Doesn't mean it's the, the end of the earth or anything. It does no, no. And if there could definitely be a hole, they said there's a hole at the top, and there's a way that water goes in and stuff. Hey, that's totally totally reasonable. You know why? Because my God makes things that are perfect and things that can't be always explained. Look at where we are. Makes things perfect. And if there's a hole up there, then God's design is perfect, and I'm sure it goes somewhere where God wants it to go. I'm not going to get hung up on all that bull. When I was dying in the hospital, an angel of the Lord came to me. When I was dying in the hospital, and they were telling me I wasn't going to make it. What'd I say? My God is greater than you. My God is greater than this sickness. And I will walk out of here just as I walked in. And I did. Because my God is greater than human thinking. And human interpretations, my God is greater. That's why I don't panic about the Mandela effect. I don't panic about it. Because my God is greater. Ten to one, my God's doing it. Everything is for a reason. Everything is in a design for him, by him, through him. And all things are made perfect through him. 
And yes, these bodies will die and our spirit, our energy will move on, brother. And I can't wait for that glorious day. So I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore because all the stupid people running around on this plane of existence, on this Orion arm. And the longer I stay on Orion, I, it used to be these people are, are more violent and, and they are. They are more violent and stupid. People here are more stupid every day. And I hate to say stupider and stupider, but that is a, uh, a quote from other people, but I won't say it. But what I will say is put on your full armor of God every single day. So when you see these fools running around here talking to you about how much Jesus loves you, and though we are flying through space, you can identify these people and push them aside. Okay? Be not of the world. These people have too much world going on inside them and spirituality. In a sense, there's a decent amount of spirituality that I don't have a problem with. But there's a lot of it I do have a problem with. And I'm not going to say this again. Do not open your third eye with the yoga and all that Hindu crap. Do not try to do that. If you're going to try and do it through Jesus Christ, that might be a better way to do it. Because now everybody's worried about the pineal gland and opening their eye. Well, do yeah, you can do that, but do it wisely. Do it through Christ. Because once you open that gateway, you're only going to see two things. Either it's going to be good or it's going to be bad. And those who've done it without Christ have seen demons and monsters and things that scared the crap out of them that won't go away now. Because now that they see them, those monsters see them as well. But if you can open it through Christ, I believe you can see things like angels, good angels, and you can do things. Maybe a lot of the, the, the miracles that they did in the Bible... Maybe a lot of those was done through the power of God working with your pineal gland being open and God's spiritual energy uh, just coming through you. The Holy Spirit is just being blasted right into your body and able to do things that is supernatural. That's very possible. Now, I did come on here. I was going to try and do this. I'm running out of time. Let's find today. It is June 6th. All right, June 6th. There we go. All right. Secure. And it says Matthew 6, 19 through 20. Don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. says the wind was picking up so they headed home they docked at the wharf tying off the boat he turned smiling at his new skill he had learned it from his dad and it was not a, not a hard knot but if you didn't do it right it became a slip knot and that would not be good for tying off a boat they trudged off to the house bummed that they did not catch more than a few fish usually on a morning like this they would have hauled in over 10 the afternoon passed by and with the cool of the evening the wind dropped Time to head back out, and they came around the bend. Where's the boat? Panic set in for both of them. The wind was offshore, so if it got away, it could be anywhere. Dad looked at him, questioning, Did you secure the boat? Security comes in all forms, spiritual, emotional, personal, corporate, and financial. In this life, where moth, rust, thieves, and harmful people do seem to dominate our protection, and sec security is found in our eternal promises. Everything we have, we will eventually lose anyway. God is our only guarantee. It says, what are you concerned about losing that fills you with worry? And that's your question for the day. You take that before God. All right, my friends. I have to go and do my thing. I hope you all have a great day. And as always, you are not alone. You are not forgotten. And you are loved. Peace.